What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video today. We're going to be doing a transfer review of Manchester City's performance in the transfer window for the summer of 2022. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then please do subscribe. We've got plenty of regular Manchester City content coming throughout the season so make sure you have subscribed. Less than 800 subs now away from 28k subscribers which is my aim so any help towards that would be brilliant also don't forget as well social media links there in the description below and slide and across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 300 likes is the aim also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below including scoring manchester city's performance in the transfer window this summer and score it out of 10. Lastly, this video is sponsored and brought to you by One Football. This video is brought to you by One Football. If you want to download the One Football app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The One Football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video if you want to go and check them out the links are in the description so let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with the outgoings and uh, just as a short summary Manchester City they have sold 37 players this summer 17 of them have been loaned out eight of them have been released for free by Manchester City 12 of them have been sold as a permanent transfer with a fee gained by Manchester City totaling more than £180 million pounds. we've seen five first team players leave Manchester City as well, 16 fringe players slash young players that have all been in and around the first team squad at some point in their development at Manchester City and we've also seen 16 players that have not featured for Manchester City in the first team but have been in and around our academy or the EDS or put on the loan system or somewhere uh, out there and uh, this has been Manchester City's one of our biggest transfer windows that we've ever had in terms of outgoings as Manchester City have really looked to freshen things up when it's come to the Manchester City squad so the players that have left Manchester City so far uh, in the summer we're going to start off first with Thomas Adjupong he was released and didn't find a club Diego Rosa loaned to Vizela in Port Portugal. Narwell Bustos, he was loaned to Sao Paulo in Brazil. Narwell Ferrasi also joined him on loan in Sao Paulo. Issa Cabore loaned to Marseille after Man City rejected more than £20 million from Nottingham Forest. Yankuto loaned to Girona. Zach Steffen loaned to Middlesbrough. Yangel Herrera also loaned to Girona. Luke Mbete loaned to Huddersfield Town. Liam Delap loaned to Stoke City. James McAtee loaned to Sheffield United. Tommy Doyle loaned to Sheffield United, Keiki loaned to uh, Paros de Fiera in Portugal, Kieran Slicker loaned to Rochdale, Louis Fiorini loaned to Blackpool, Callum Doyle loaned to Coventry City, Taylor Harwood-Bellis loaned to Burnley and James Trafford also loaned out to Bolton Wanderers. Now Pablo Moreno was sold to uh, Maritimo in Portugal for an undisclosed fee, Claudio Gomez sold to Palermo for an undisclosed fee. Uh, Marlos Moreno sold to Estac Troy for free. Ante Palaversa also sold to Estac Troy for free. And Conrad Egan Riley sold to Burnley for free. Uh, Ria, uh, Ria Taro uh, Machino was released to Gamba Osaka for free. Daniel Arzani released to MacArthur in Australia for free. Jaden Braff released to Borussia Dortmund for free. And Fernandinho also released by Manchester City who joined Athletic Paranets over in Brazil again for a free 
transfer. Now, moving on to the players that Man City have gained fees for this summer. R.O. Muric sold to Burnley, uh, to Burnley for £2.7 million. Ko, Itaka, uh, Ko Itakura sold to Munching Gladbach for £4.5 million. Juan Larios sold to Southampton for £6 million. Pedro Porro sold to Sporting Club de Portugal for £7.6 five million pound after a successful loan spell there Romeo Lavia sold to Southampton for 10 million pound Samuel uh, Adozi sold to Southampton for a fee up to 10 million pound Gavin Bazunu sold to Southampton for just short of 12 million pound Alexander Zinchenko was sold to Arsenal for 31.5 million pound we also saw Gabriel Jesus sold to Arsenal for 46.98 million pound and finally the biggest transfer fee that Manchester City received this summer Raheem Sterling he was sold to Chelsea for £50.58 million with a grand total rounded up to around £181 million not included the undisclosed transfer fees and the loan fees so that figure will be much higher wouldn't surprise me if it's much closer to £200 million that Manchester City have generated through players leaving this summer so uh, a massive transfer window in terms of outgoings for Manchester City whereas with the ins we brought in uh, Stefan Ortega Moreno signed from Arminia Bielfeld for free Sergio Gomez signed from Anderlecht for £11 million Manuel Akanji signed on transfer deadline day for £15.8 million from Borussia Dortmund Calvin Phillips signed from Leeds United to replace Fernandinho for £43.9 million brought in of course from Leeds United there and early in Halland, uh, the final player, the most expensive player that Manchester City signed this summer and the most expensive transfer that we've made this summer as well in terms of ins and outs. He was signed for a very impressive £51.2 million from Borussia Dortmund. Keep him injury free and I'm confident he is going to be the signing of the summer. So having a look at the first team players that were sold, Fernandinho, he was replaced uh, of course by... Um, Calvin Phillips. Zach Stefan, he left out on loan. He's been replaced by Stefan Ortega Moreno. Alexander Zinchenko, he was sold and replaced of course by Sergio Gomez from Anderlecht. Manuel Akanji was brought in to help with depth and injuries so again pretty solid there from Manchester City. Gabriel Jesus replaced as our, uh, replaced as our number nine uh, with Erling Haaland. So the only player that we haven't addressed and replaced this summer in terms of outs that have left uh, and City haven't addressed is Raheem Sterling. However I do feel like we're a left back short to replace Benjamin Mendy who obviously won't be associated with Manchester City anymore I do feel like we could do with a winger that's quick versatile that could help replace uh, Raheem Sterling and also possibly a central midfielder now considering we looked at centre backs towards the end of the window for a bargain I'm surprised we didn't have a look at depth for midfield as well uh, but that might be something maybe we look at either in the winter transfer window or possibly next summer we'll have to wait and see because that would have helped ease the burden on the fact that Doyle, McAtee, Lavia, they all left Manchester City. You'd fancy that he, at least a couple of them players will be around the first team squad in helping with the numbers. So overall high quality there from Manchester City with these players that have sold. We've accumulated a lot of money. There's still more that could be done in my opinion in the transfer window. Now to me, Man City peaked very early with a 10 out of 10 signing in Erling Haaland and then kind of downhill from there but still in my opinion a decent window from Manchester City out of 10 I'm going to give Manchester City an 8.5 out of 10 in performance uh, in the window there's still areas that need addressing possibly in January if not then then next summer now what the focus has to be is new contracts in terms of players Bernardo Silva getting him onto a long term deal would be brilliant with the interest there from Barcelona and obviously him having three years left on his uh, deal is going to become two years from next summer and becomes more affordable for teams. Also, Ilkay Gundogan's contract is up in the uh, in next summer, and uh, City could do with getting him tied down to a new contract. And to me, the biggest uh, the uh, biggest priority has to be Pep Guardiola. His contract is also up next summer, and it'd be a massive loss for Manchester City if we was to uh, to lose him. So, what's going to happen for Man City now in the window, uh, with it being closed, is we're going to start uh, scouting. We're going to start getting linked with players. That's going to commence and get all the build up towards 
towards the January transfer window. So, of course, we will be back with daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the winter January transfer window for you guys to enjoy. From a personal point of view, though, daily transfer updates, they're done and dusted. 88 videos in total, 3,288 new subscribers gained to the JSGC channel, 51,794 minutes of watch time and 796,417 overall views gained over the summer transfer window. What a daily summer transfer update season it has been and I cannot wait to bring the series back in January again for you guys to enjoy. So that has been the video. I do hope you enjoyed the video. 8.5 out of 10 I'm giving Manchester City in the transfer window for their review and performance. Do let me know in the comments below what you score Manchester City out of 10 for their performance in the summer transfer window. Also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel as well if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and lastly do go and check out today's video sponsor OneFootball, link is in the description OneFootball will keep you up to date with all the latest football news, transfer news as well as the latest scores, results, statistics live league tables and all your good football in need, it's a free app to download link is in the description, anyone that does press that link and download OneFootball using that link does help to support the future content created here on my channel and it does keep these videos coming for you guys so any interaction towards that would be amazing and i'll see you all again real soon for the next manchester city video so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>